Greetings free thinkers, welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have for you two clips to watch. A main one, which is this one, from Radical Far Left Portland. And then we have one from um, Australia, which um, is just to back up the effects that a society, or the effects that befall a society, when you foster a sense of yeah i can do what i want i can do what i want you know i'm i'm a radical leftist i'm a socialist i can do what i want to who i want when i want and damn those police if they try to stop me now this is portland these are two councillors in portland we know how woke portland is um this is a back and forth discussion that they have with a journalist who asks them questions in regards to the um democrat talking point of defund the police which one of these two people really wants to do (laughs) and i'm sure you can guess which one it is um so we'll jump into the clip now and the second clip well we'll wait i'll show you the second clip after um because that's just this is the cause that is the effect yeah so we'll watch the cause clip and then the effect clip so we'll jump into it now if you haven't yet though please like the video subscribe to the whole cast hit the notification bell and share this video around if you find this video informative um you can also become a member if you so choose there's a join button next to the sub button also i'm on rumble i upload all of my videos to rumble as well now because i am shadow band deboosted here on youtube okay let's go So the one on the left, (laughs) figuratively and um, actually, is a um, councilwoman from Portland. She's far left. Let's take a look. Remember her name. It is. She's a commissioner. She's Commissioner Jo Ann Hardesty. Okay. She's the Portland City Commissioner. So she's pretty in terms of. working for the council for the for the um locality she's pretty high up there okay so this is a discussion that they had and take a look at this yeah these two actually um they're both leftists but this is what happens when because you always hear people saying oh i didn't leave the left the left left me right that's because as the left as a group as a cult rush headlong towards the cliff like lemmings with the ones at the front falling over there are always some of those lemmings who start to develop a brain and they they start to think to themselves hey is this such a good idea and when that happens you always get one of those situations where the quote left are eating their own yeah because that's what happens when people think hey do you know what this is absurd you know and 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 if these people are both leftists you're the the more extreme one is going to drag the more moderate one over the cliff with them and not everyone wants that believe it or not so check out this exchange number of police and no. amount of gun violence in no. the city no. then what why do you think so what what would happen if we had zero so so you don't think there's any correlation between number of police and no. amount of gun violence in no. the city no. then what why do you think so what what would happen if we had zero police do you think gun violence would stay as it is right now well let me just say i don't I don't imagine a society in my lifetime that would have no police. Police have a role, and police role is actually to solve crime. Right, but specific to gun violence, if we had if we had five police officers today, do you think we would see gun violence go up? I I can't answer that. Well, that I I don't know. Does that mean we would have uh, nobody else would have guns, and we just have five officers with guns? I mean, what a moronic thing to say. You see, this is these these are the people that are in charge of your cities. But then again. The vote blue no matter who crowd you vote for this yeah so she's advocating for something and then when someone asks her a question on that thing her answer is well i don't know i don't know and then she asks a second question which is just nonsensical like it's just listen again the, the question she responds with oh well if we only had five police officers with guns would that mean nobody else had guns i mean how do you get to that point yeah that you ask such a stupid question and you will find that with globalists whenever they're asked about this direction that they're pulling all of us in their answer is well i don't know oh we'll just see we'll always be all right one thing you hear here in britain is no matter what happens we'll always be all right because we're britain 
No. It doesn't work like that. Right? It's, that is institutionalized complacency. Yeah, it's an idiocracy. That's what left brings. I mean, I, you know, that's a... That, I can't answer that. Well, I can... <laughs> and look, she's just laughing. And you can see how um, <laughs> uncomfortable he was. This is the lemming. If only you could see the light bulb on his head going bing, bing, bing. Right? And she doesn't like his answer. She was expecting him to stooge for her. Yeah? So let's listen. Answer that. The crime would go up. I mean, you, you welcome chaos. You welcome vigilantes. You wait. You welcome retaliatory crimes. And look, if we do not, she really doesn't like that. that this is him literally injecting common sense, much-needed common sense, into the left-wing narrative. He's a leftist himself, and she doesn't like that. She was hoping for pie in the sky, uh, you know, da 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 kumbaya type of response not have a police force in an urban setting and so less police officers makes the city less safe what a stunning example of common sense from the left and look she really doesn't like that look at how angry she she probably sees him as a traitor now she'll probably try to scupper his career or try to make things difficult or bad for him because she probably now sees him as a Republican, right? She probably... She probably sees him as a Republican, yeah? She's like, he's the enemy now. Why is he the enemy? Because he's engaging in that common sense thing. Let's listen to the exchange again. Um, I won't interrupt it this time. So, so you don't think there's any correlation between number of police and no. amount of gun violence in no, the city? No. Then what, why do you think, so what, what would happen if we had zero police? Do you think gun violence would stay as it is right now? Well, let me just say, I don't, I don't imagine a society in my lifetime that would have no police. Police have a role, and police role is... So that's very telling. A society in my lifetime with no police. She's, it's, it's the power by creep thing that the left are so good at. What she's saying is, is that she wants a society where there is no police, five police, for example. But then, in ten years' time, the number of police will be reduced and reduced and reduced until, quote, after her lifetime, there will be none. It will just be complete anarchy with a couple of social workers, overpaid, who just stand around on the street corner making excuses for the criminals who largely... Oh, with her, if you know what I mean, yeah. There's actually to solve crime. Right, but specific to gun violence, if we had if we had five police officers today, do you think we would see gun violence go up? I, I can't answer that. Well, that, I, I don't know. Does that mean we would have, uh, nobody else would have guns and we just have five officers with guns? I mean, I, you know, that's a, that, I can't answer that. <laughs> well, I can answer that. Crime. This is, it is the, it's the same thing with these leftists, you know. It is pseudo-intellectualism. These people are not intelligent people. But they've, they've been um, led to believe that they are because they've been coaxed through college, they've got a gender studies degree, um, and they think that, that their piece of paper they got from the college that it looks like we are now going to pay for, they assume that that somehow imbues them with intelligence. It doesn't. I'm going to go up. I mean, you, you welcome chaos, you welcome vigilantes, you, wait, you welcome retaliatory crimes if we do not have a police force in an urban setting. And so less police officers makes the city less safe. I don't think that's true. So, so you don't think... Yeah, well, anyone with a brain doesn't care what you don't think is true because you, you're going to be the problem woman, you know? If, and I'm, this is anyone, I'm speaking to anyone in the world from any walk of life. If you placed your trust in this person here, you are asking for trouble. Okay, that's, that's my opinion on it. So now let's go over to Australia. I wanted to add this one in because this is what happens when you allow a society to be led by people who have no respect for anyone else. It's just what they want when they want it. Yeah, uh, usually almost exclusively radical leftists who just this this colossal sense of entitlement that they have and that they are always right about everything like she she has here she really did not like that he inserted some much needed common sense into her bullshit narrative 
Okay. So this is Melbourne, Australia. Here we have an entitled person. Um, I have no idea what his political persuasion is, although I'd almost exclusively imagine he's a leftist. I say that because he has decided to take it upon himself to stand in front of this vehicle to try and block its path. I can do whatever I like. I can do this. You're driving a vehicle. That's polluting the atmosphere. You know, I don't care that you're trying to get home from work or whatnot. You know, I'm going to stop you from driving because I want to. And to hell with anyone who dares to stop me. Yeah. Well, let's take a look. So you can see this guy's an ext extremely effeminate, soy-filled kind of entitled person. So up to, if I want to stand in the way of your car, I will, and you can't stop me. Luckily enough, now this is what I mean, if you end up with no police, if you end up in a society where the police are emasculated, the police are um, politicised, you notice how the emasculation, emasculation never seems to apply when they go after conservatives or republicans have you noticed that have you noticed that when it comes to conservatives republicans you get the swat teams you get the dawn raids with the cnn outside the front door have you noticed that but when it comes to the left it's oh you know when it comes to blm we, we they they literally bend the knee in submission yeah however the point being if you remove that 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 sense of authority and create a vacuum you will leave it to vigilantes vigilantism can be bad in some cases i would argue it can be good as you're about to see here right just keep that in mind so look he's astounded that somebody actually stopped him yeah, he was. He's got all of this path to walk on. Yet he chose to walk in front of the car to just just to make that guy's day hard. You're driving a car, and that's polluting the atmosphere. How dare you? I'm going to stand in front of your car because I, I have the right to do what I want to who I like. And now look, he's took exception at the fact that two people have come and pushed him out of the way because he was offering disrespect. And he got disrespect back, but you see how offended he is. He's like, you can't do that to me. So you hear him, he goes, these two said, have some respect. And his response to that was, and I'm quoting him here, I hope it picked him up. Respect? He, he doesn't know what you're talking about. What does, this, what does respect mean? Right, they said, and I'm hope I'll play it again. Have some respect. And his response to that was, Respect? And then he pushes one of these guys. He is so offended by the, the concept of respect. Yeah? Watch. Do you hear it? You see, as soon as he pushed me, like, if that was me, if as soon as he pushed me like that, I would have been on. Because I would have had enough with this guy. I would have absolutely had enough with him. <laughs> see, look, and it, it's like he's fought, look, it's like he's trying to go after the car, look. Did you see that? I would love for this uh, clip to have lasted longer. It's like, like uh, I could be wrong, but it looks as if he looked straight at the car and like was going to go and try and stand in front of it again, because that's the leftist mentality, isn't it? So like, you're not going to stop me from standing in front of the car and ruining someone's life, or oh, well, not ruining his life, but <laughs> you know what I mean, right? But look, look at how he looks straight at the car, and it's like he's going to walk over to it again. Do you see it? Just at the end there. See? You see it? His, his eyes are on the car, look.
And look, his eyes are only for that car. You, you can't get away from me. I'm going to stand in front of your car, and that's that. You can't stop me. You are polluting the atmosphere. See, this is why politicians, globalist politicians, need to be held accountable in a more stronger fashion than merely, I resign. Or, I, or even worse, I get voted out. Because then they can, they can cash their ill-gotten gains at the bank whilst your life gets worse in immeasurable ways. It's not enough to just vote someone out. Right? It's not enough to just resign. Left-wing people need to be introduced to the concept of accountability. And, that, and, and quickly. Yeah, This guy learned it. Yeah, This guy was astounded to discover that people, society, won't, won't, aren't going to tolerate that. Right? Just who do you think you are just standing in front of that guy's car like that? He did nothing wrong to you. You, you don't even know him, right? But there we go. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.